Yes, people, how are we doing? Hopefully everyone's good. Hopefully you can hear me. The music here is incredibly loud. However, we are in for lower. This is the new Mecca, hashtag Mecca. It's not the, it's not the hashtag Mecca, but it's an Ultraflex, Ultraflex Derby. I will be training out of here and be modified. So basically I'm Derby based for somebody who doesn't live in Derby, but it's like a good drive, not a long enough drive to the point where I can't warrant it. Um, and anyway, I'm a, I'm a coach. I, I get paid to technically coach people but also trade. So luckily I can move a big chunk of my day around pretty much just training. So I'm going to be here and be modified moving forward. So if anyone like wants to like, let's say there's a hitman who's trying to get me, I'll be here most days. So this is going to be the new gym. We've had a few sessions here. Uh, it's really, really good. It opened up like two weeks ago and, uh, and we've done pretty much a full rotation here so far. We're going to be just zigzagging between here and be modified, but we are in for lower as mentioned today. I am six and a bit weeks or five and a bit, five and a half, six weeks into my tidy up, uh, like 13 kilos down now, which is quite good. Getting bloods done this weekend to kind of see where I'm going to be at from a baseline standpoint. Um, and yeah, feel really good. Like strength's in a really, really good spot. Um, probably the best position I've ever been in, like when it comes to this body weight and everything. I'm going to do an update reel, so check my Instagram. It'll probably be already out by the time this video is uploaded. But like I said, in for lower, um, similar sessions to what I've done before, but I haven't filmed a lower session for quite a long while. So this is my lower without the hinge. So yeah, really, really excited to kind of show you like this new sort of block of training because I have changed splits slightly as mentioned on the last video. So watch that if you, if you haven't already. But yeah, that'll be it. In for lower, go through usual exercises, bish bash bosh, what's not to love, sit back, get some food, enjoy. Right, so um, starting out with abs, same as usual. Um, a few sets to kind of pretty much promote spinal flexion. Um, so the, the ab crunch and then the ab coaster. Um, again, no, I don't really need to rationalize it. My abs are shit, so just starting out my lower sessions with them. Um, moving forward, I will be, once food gets higher and I'm not eating poverty level calories, I will be doing a bit of arms at the start of this lower session. This is my third session on the drop, so I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this is Wednesday. So this is after pull and push. So I'm going to be doing a bit of arms, most likely to start off this session, um, which just ups my bicep frequency. But that'll be something that I can talk about probably in the, the next time that we film this session. So starting out with abs, always then do a bit of calves. Calves are one of those sort of things where a lot of times, if you do them and you tag your calves onto the end of a session, you're probably going to either A, like probably not do them with great quality, or B, you'll say you're going to do them and then you'll go home. And that's happened plenty of times. So starting out your session with calves, probably not a bad thing at all. So yeah, that's abs done, three sets of each, and now we're going to move on to calves. Speaking of that, Sam, quick reel about calves. hamstring curl done. First set was pretty much in the mid to length and range, prime hamstring so you can manipulate the profile. Second set, more length and range. I've had this set up in loads of different sort of ways. This feels all right, feels good. Um, the two working sets, I actually went two pins heavy on the top set and then I did my top set last week as the back off. Uh, both sets really good. First set, a little bit heavy. I got five and one rep, so five reps on my own. Admittedly for hamstrings, I'd probably prefer that to be a touch higher, but because it's a prime bit of kit and it's still like, it's still a really good hamstring curl. I got a good connection. So yeah, I'll take that, happy with that, no complaints. Uh, always loading the knee joint passively prior to actually getting into any bulk majority like pressing work. So we're now going on to the Cybex squat press. 
We had the pendulum in last week earlier, but the squat press is so heavy in that mid to shorter range. The only issue is from a loading capability standpoint, it only goes up to about 13 plates per side, which I can do pause relatively easily later on in the session. So I'm gonna have a look around, see if there's any 25s, see if there's any bigger plates that I could maybe use which will be good, um, but yeah, just waiting currently for that to, to be free. And then we're gonna get into, like I said, we're gonna do squat press, then a squat pattern, so basically the two main movements of the session, and then finish up with a bit of leg extension, so a bit more quad work. For me, I do need more quads. My hamstrings are all right, like they could still be better, but they're all right. I'm still needing more quads, that's the definite. I feel like quads are one of those areas you just can't have too big. So yeah, two sets of hamstring curl done, both progressed, no complaints. Fifteen plates per side, and it was a good set. Heavy, heaviest I've ever done on this. Um, if I'm not mistaken, definitely on this one, which is a bit stickier and heavier than the one at B Modified. Um, B Modified's clear, that's why. Shout out Jacob, um, or Jakob, his actual name is. But yeah, fifteen plates on the side of squat press. Um, I did thirteen and a half last week, but we found some twenty fives. And I had IFBB Pro Chloe Pickford watching over me. And to be fair, she's got bigger legs than both me and Fid, so. She said she was like, what are you going for? So I was like, oh, I've got to go heavy, I guess. So uh, yeah, decent set, very decent set, but I'm a bit fucked. So I'm doing 10 and a half pause as a back off. Uh, realistically, I'm going to do a reel about this, but there's like, if there's benefits pausing, it's light in that length and range. So placing a slight pause there just to kill any momentum is, I'm not going to say a game changer, but it will definitely help. So really trying to accentuate maximal knee flexion, as much quad focus that we can. I'm a big fan of this machine, just based off my horrendous ability to squat. So it's a squat press. If you can get on really well with a natural squat variant, cool, probably crack on with that. This is a bit of an ego stroker and it can be done horrendously. So really like I said, trying to maximize what I can get out of this. And for me personally, I really like it. So yeah, first set there, I'm probably gonna need a couple minutes at least to do the, the second set. But lifetime strength, body weight down, eating next to pretty much fuck all food relative to me, um, which is, is sound, it should be the case. And also, natural, 10 week cruise, natural guys. say diet related which is funny I always notice it. it's the first thing I notice when it's quite an aggressive diet my post set recovery fitness wise sound I'm doing more cardio but my actual body is like what the fuck are you doing why are you doing this so yeah that's that two sets there ten and a half pause ten kg up the side reps matched so big load progression on the first set 
with two reps lost and then a load progression on the second set rep match. So two wins really um, with what I wanted to get out of this movement, which is good. Obviously a little bit fresher, so that's something you do have to kind of think about. So yeah, decent. I'm gonna get some of the plates off. Luke, Luke Jane Fitness, he's upstairs. So gonna go have a look at him. He's prepping for this year, September, uh, PCA first timers. So usually I wouldn't in between sets. I'm in athlete mode, not coach mode, but it's a leg press and I probably need another five minutes or so to the next movement. Put your hand a little bit further back. So as you're leaner, when you're leaner, this midsection will look better. When you're a bit fat, you had your hand there, you would just be like, oh, I'm just covering body fat. If you're, <laughs> let's say, if I have to over diet you because you can't pose, and I'm thinking this looks shit, it's not, one, is it? it's not gonna be good, yeah. But no, you look really good, man. You definitely, like, if it's only half hour for me here, mate, like, more than welcome to either jump in or potentially just come here like Wednesdays or, or Mondays or whatever. Yeah, I definitely know it's a yeah. bit it's a lot closer. Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, all good, man, all good. Well, I'm gonna crack on, but hopefully. <laughs> Oh, easy. Nice job, mate. Yeah, easy. Yeah, lovely rep. Good. Come on, quality. Every single one. Now on the quad. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Come on, float more. Let's go. Good. Again, don't drop in. More control. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I'm there when you need me. Let's go. Same again. Same eccentric. Pause on. Pause on. Pause. Yeah, all your own. Good. Again, I'm there. Come on. Let's go. You're right now. Come on. Stay on it. Pause it. Yeah. A little bit. Good. One if you want. Let's go then. Come on. Do that sticking point. Come on now. Come on. Big one. Let's go. Good. Pendulum. One set. Very, very slow and controlled eccentric. So pause and then end and doing this like I said after the or as you get not even like I said you can see on the video yeah, after the squat press where last week I did this before same load felt really good and um, if anything it felt better that way it just meant Finn had to give me one to two maybe three uh, assisted reps at mid-range gym like a pendulum is really solid I'm smoked that was good so that's main squat variance done for the session single leg leg press so technically a bit of a squat variant, but a single leg bit of work. More so for a bit of outer quad and a bit of glute, which I need. Ponte sports, essential gains, refit 10. Three LPs. Come on, I want ten. Five more LPs. Ooh. I think that was only nine LPs. Just love those LPs. I don't brother. think that was ten. You LPs. love those LPs. I do, do another LP. I think it was nine. Yeah, there we go. Hey, yeah. Hey. Send the partials to them, guys. Make it real. <laughs> Fuck that. Actually, do it. That's that real. Good. Sam, make sure that's a real, yeah? Tag me, please tag me in that real. Yeah, I'll invite you as a collaborator, yeah? Yeah. Sad. <laughs> right guys, so you know split squat. Hmm? Fucking love reels. Oh, I love, love fucking reels. Oh, I love, love, love. I love. I don't know what I love more, reels or LPs. I love reels more than training. Really? I don't even like training. I only train for reels. I only train to do reels. I only train so I can give too much money to Sam to make reels. I know. Yeah, I just love. It. I wish I could just do it myself. Yeah. We need to learn, and then we wouldn't need Sam. No, we wouldn't. Sam's shit anyway. Right, so um, we've done two sets of the split squat. 
I did one set last week, but felt good, so I did a set of 25s, or on the 25, and then a heavier set on the 40s. Both sets, I don't really log book, I have a rough idea load-wise, but it's just putting load through the areas that are needed. So, outer quad, fastest lateralis, and the glute. Um, I get a good connection, really. I have this, like, earmarked as, like, a squat, single leg squat variant, whether that's leg press, uh, let's say dumbbell split squat, Bulgarian, whatever. Um, today, we did a dumbbell, felt really good, um, no real complaints. We're now on to the last movement of the session. So, leg extension, I do two high rep sets here uh, with an intense fire on the second set. Um, obviously, a few LPs, which are length and partials, which seems to be the craze. Um, maybe not as much now, but maybe about a month ago. Start of the year, everyone was loving them. Like anything, in six months, people won't really give too much of a fuck about them. Like, we've been doing partials for years at this point, but just know when to, when to place them and where to, where to place them so you can actually utilize them effectively and not ruin the rest of your session just due to, like, burying yourself early on. Um, so, yeah, really, really good session. Gonna, because we were doing the podcast in, like, an hour and the roads are a bit bad. We're gonna literally run upstairs, take a few picks. I only have about three good poses, so if I literally hit three poses and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll leave it there. Um, but yeah, really good session. Well, I'll do an outro after I've done my second set and that after we've done some posing. Right guys, there we go. Um, Sam's just took a few picks. Give me two seconds. That was the, the least like aesthetic top put on you'll ever see. I'm sorry, I'm sorry any females that are watching this, but Sanaya wouldn't be. Sanaya doesn't want any girls to watch this anyway. To be fair, most people aren't gonna watch me. If they're girls, I'd imagine. Probably just boys wanting to be meatheads. That's why you're watching your favorite influencer, Reese Fit. Maybe not even your favorite influencer, but if you've got to this part of the video, you never know. Um, back to legs, really good session. Um, in a very, very good groove. I said the exact same last video, but we are, like we're in a good position. Uh, body weight's coming down, feel really good. Um, like I said, it's not really a place that I can really complain about being in. Especially nice when you've been force feeding and then you're eating a lot less. Like visual is a lot leaner, I'm not shredded, but my front's pretty lean. I'm, I'm lean relative to like non-stage lean, but I'm obviously not like shredded. And I think bodybuilding always warps your perception towards if you're not mind-blowingly peeled, you're like, oh, I'm fat. When in reality, I'm not. I'm in a good spot, I'm in a good position to start pushing up again once I get a few more kilos off, which will come off quickly in the next week or two. I had 20th of Feb, and it's the 7th today? 7th, Sam? I think it's the 7th. So yeah, I had the 20th of Feb as like an end sort of date, but realistically, that's not just gonna be a case where the 20th of Feb comes around and it's like, right, back to 5,000 calories. Like I've been having intentional high days every fourth or fifth day, especially considering like my size now, I can't really get away with just being like the standard, okay, I'm just gonna kill myself food wise and then not have any fill up. So yeah, it's pretty much a case where every four to five days having an intentional high day, it might be a case where it's about seven to 800 carb plus like an off-plan meal in the evenings. Um, relatively clean off-plan meal, but enough to the point where we're like, put me up about half a kilo to a kilo, and then it comes back down a few days after. And then by like that fourth to fifth day, I'm at an all-time new low. But we'll probably push this a little bit further because I don't need to get fearful of running a bit flat. Like, it's, it's not gonna be the end of the world. So yeah, another like two or so weeks, have the high days, almost a bit of a baseline, probably double up them. So instead of every fourth to fifth day, maybe have them every two to three days. So it's basically maybe Monday and Friday, or maybe Monday, and potentially Thursday. And then that'll be a case where I have my high day nutrition, my regular training day, my non-training day. And then I just bring myself out of that deficit over a period of probably two to three weeks. So realistically, I'll probably still be losing weight towards the back end of this month. But then PEDs are gonna be going up, things like growth hormone, uh, potentially insulin on those potential high days. So that's going to hold more kind of just general nutrients and just if anything as well glycogen so even though my scale weight might potentially creep up on some days composition will probably improve and that'll just set me up really nicely to then enter a productive uh, gaining phase a productive push realistically if i am looking to compete like there is a small chance but like with what i've got planned this year i would rather take the year off and i do need to be bigger like i would do well in the amateurs i don't think i'm miles miles off from the level that i want to be but i do need to be bigger there's people who are training at gyms like this that like i could outshape and i probably have better areas but like there's certain body parts that are still pretty young on me just relative to training age like more so ped age as well and just like experience and stuff like that and realistically i've got quite a wide frame so i just need to fill that out so yeah it's just a case of more of the same but just enjoying the process as always which i fucking do and that's what bodybuilding is all about so for where things are right now things are good we're filming on the 20th is it the 20th 
Yeah, we're filming actually on the 20th, so that potentially will be like the last day. Uh, so that's Tuesday, that's going to be posh, which will be quite cool. But either way, hopefully everyone's enjoyed. Uh, we are now going to shoot off, film the Once You're In, You're In podcast. If you don't listen to that and you want to listen to more of me, at this point in the video, you might want to. Go click on that, give us a watch, you might enjoy. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I'll leave it there. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, Spotify, SoundCloud, um, LinkedIn. Yeah. Please don't. Uh, that'll be that. Hope everyone's enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye bye.